I want to finally put the lie to the myth being pushed out there by the union that I oppose teachers, that I oppose public education, that I don't like or value teachers. Let me be as plain as I can be, and you know when I want to be plain, I can be fair and plain. I am a product of the public school system in this state. I would not be standing here if not for the fact that I had wonderful teachers and a great school system that prepared me for college and law school and for all the things that I had to confront intellectually and professionally in my life. But I have no patience any longer for a system that says, that's good for me, but depending on your zip code, it doesn't work for you. And so don't let anybody tell you that in New Jersey, money is the issue for failure to achieve what we need to achieve. Money's the issue, but it's not connected to failure to achieve. Money's the issue because it's bankrupt in the state. There'll be some who will tell you, the defenders of the status quo, that this is an attack on teachers. That what I'm saying is an attack on teachers. And let me say, I agree. But here's the difference. They say it's an attack on all teachers. I say that that kind of system is an attack on only one set of teachers, the good ones. Only an attack on the good ones. You're gonna hear it all. I hate teachers. I hate public education. I don't understand. This is much more complex than I'm led to believe. Teachers just need the tools to be effectively evaluated and managed appropriately so that they can achieve their very best someday in some system that we have yet to identify and never will. Because if we did, it might lead to the firing of lousy teachers and bad principals who hurt our children and their futures. And we should make student achievement to teacher effectiveness and that tenure should be granted and maintained for those who show that they know how to teach and for those who clearly demonstrate they don't know how to teach, tenure should not be granted. If it's granted, it should be taken away and they should have school districts capabilities to measure student learning in the classroom. We cannot know whether we're succeeding or failing if we don't know whether our children are succeeding or failing. And so the current data systems that we have just aren't capable of linking student achievement and teacher and principal performance. Merit pay should go to the people who earn it. And I should be able, through the educational establishment in New Jersey, through measures of performance by students and teachers and principals, to reward greatness. That is the very underpinning of our American system quality principles. We all know that teachers are not the only people who make the school work. You need strong leadership, you need strong, well-trained, well-informed principals to provide the leadership and the discipline necessary to have a good functioning school. For all of you who've had children in school, you know. The principal is also a key factor in a well-run, high-achieving school. And so we want to provide alternate route programs for principals to be able to become principals. The regulation is now so stymied. Some of the most talented people to become principals because of all of these requirements that get put in the way that really are nothing but mindless box checking. Let's allow alternate routes so that great principals can have the ability to get there and help lead schools in a new cutting edge way. So we're going to provide alternate routes for principals to get into those positions and to provide a new kind of cutting edge leadership for our schools. These reforms and the ones I'm going to talk about on Thursday are the fundamental civil rights issue of our lifetime. And we are going to stand up for it.